China, the foreign minister has outlined plans to host a peaceful talk to end the prolonged Russia and Ukraine conflict. He said more than 40 countries have supported a six-point consensus dialogue initiated by China and Brazil. Here's more of that in this report. Switzerland will host a peace forum in June to seek an end to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi says China's consistent position is to promote peace talks. He says Beijing values the work done by Switzerland in organizing the peace forum. He says China has made a number of constructive suggestions to Switzerland, but he says China will make its own decision on whether to participate and how to participate based on its own interests. The world needs more balanced, positive and constructive voices on the Ukraine crisis. To that end, China and Brazil jointly issued a six-point consensus on a political settlement of the Ukraine crisis, stressing the need to abide by the three principles of de-escalation of the situation. These include no spillover from the battlefield, no escalation of the conflict, no provocation by relevant parties. At the same time, we call on all parties to adhere to dialogue and negotiation, provide humanitarian assistance, oppose the use of nuclear weapons and attacks on nuclear power plants, and maintain the stability of the global industrial and supply chain. In just a week or so, 45 countries have responded positively to the six-point consensus. Among these, 26 have confirmed their intention to join or are seriously considering it. Russia and Ukraine also affirm most of the contents of the six-point consensus, which once again shows that the six-point consensus meets the common aspirations of most countries and is the largest common denominator in the world today.